Happy to be branches. back outside with quiet weather conditions, and it's been ma ma mainly quiet, if I can talk, here in the metro. But we've had a few storms pop up, putting down a little bit of rain. But as quickly as they pop up, they pretty much fizzle out. But we do have another storm that could be heading in our direction just off to our west. It continues to push off to the east-southeast, so that could impact us here in the next half hour to 45 minutes or so. Over near Santa Fe, you had a couple rounds of showers and storms. Just had a storm pass through your area. Now things quiet down once again and has been rather active around the northern mountains and also to our south around Los Lunas and Berlin. You had a strong storm move just to the east of you in the past hour that prompted a flood advisory. Still a lot of dark reds with this storm indicating the potential for some heavy rain and frequent lightning and further to the south still some activity around the Sacramento mountains just off to your west a strong line of storms. Now these storms started out in Socorro and they did some damage when they moved through Socorro. This is a picture of a roof blown off of a building thanks to Holly Zuni. So some active weather continues once again today after a quiet Saturday and still a lot of activity around northeastern New Mexico. Clayton, some storms just off to your north and also off to the north of Tucumcari and Interstate 40. So we're going to have rounds of hit or miss showers and storms a lot more active tonight than it was last night at this time. So something to keep in mind if you have some outdoor plans. Satellite and radar showing the activity basically in central New Mexico, also into eastern New Mexico. Eastern New Mexico, it's been quiet for you for the past few days but even you are getting in on the action right now. So we have a flash flood watch basically for central New Mexico up to the north and also for portions of southern New Mexico. That goes until tonight. So we still could see some showers move through the metro, putting down some heavy rain. The further east you go, the flash flooding is not as much of a concern because these storms are moving a little bit faster today. So if you have some outdoor plants, temperatures will be dropping into the 70s later on tonight when you're waking up on your Monday, heading back to work, temperatures in the upper 60s and then they'll climb back into the 80s and we'll be drying out tomorrow. We won't see a chance for storms here in the metro and things will be drying out over the next few days after tonight. So we're going to have those scattered storm chances for tonight. Then tomorrow things die down a little bit as we're going to have some westerly flow ushering in some drier air. There's still a slight chance for some spotty storms basically in northern and northeastern New Mexico. Then by Tuesday, all of us drying out around the state as that westerly flow continues to pump in the dry air and we'll have mostly sunny skies. So as we head into the evening hours tonight, we'll have that chance for some hit or miss storms. The best chance will be in northern New Mexico, also to our east, and we could still see a few storms here in the metro. But by tomorrow when you're waking up, only a slight chance for a few leftover showers basically in northern New Mexico around 8.30 on your Monday morning. And then by the lunchtime hour, we're seeing the storms fire up once again around Taos and Raton. But the further south you go, the drier it's going to be. So here in the metro, our chances for storms are really going to go down for Monday and Tuesday with most of the activity staying around Raton and Las Vegas and the northern mountains as we head into the middle of the week. For tomorrow in southern Colorado, temperatures will be in the 70s, 75 degrees in Pagosa Springs, upper 70s in Durango and 80 degrees in Cortez and Farmington. You'll climb into the 80s, 89 degrees, 85 in Grants, 84 degrees in Gallup with only a slight chance for a leftover shower tomorrow. The better chance will be around the northern mountains in the southwest. We'll climb into the upper 80s, middle 90s in Tierra Sea, 96 degrees in Deming and 92 degrees in Alamogordo. Over to the southeast, we'll have a chance a slight chance for a pop up storm. The best chance will be around the Sacramento Mountains. Temperatures in the upper 90s, so things are going to be heating up in the southeast. 97 degrees in Roswell, 99 in Carlsbad in Roswell. You could approach the century mark on your Tuesday with a slight chance for a spot shower. In the northeast, we'll have a chance for some hit or miss storms. On your Monday, temperatures in the 70s and the 80s, lower 90s in Santa Rosa, upper 90s in Tucumcari. You'll make it to 98 degrees over the northern mountains. We'll be in the 70s and the 80s with a chance for a few storms during the afternoon. And then in the east mountains, we'll be in the middle 80s. You'll make it to 85 degrees in Edgewood. And then in the metro, we'll have a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures heating up back into the lower 90s around Albuquerque. We'll stay in the 90s as we head into the middle of the week with our chances for storms really going down by Tuesday and Wednesday. But there is promise by Thursday and Friday that it could become a little bit more active once again.